oil and gas stakeholders converged on Abuja for the 20th anniversary edition of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Conference, which started on the 5th through the 8th of July 2021. After previous editions were held virtually due to the COVID outbreak and lockdown, it will interest you to know that the NOG is happening at a time when the oil and gas sector has crossed a major landmark. After a 20-year journey, the Petroleum Industry Bill, the PIB, crossed a major landmark as the two chambers of the National Assembly considered the reports of their respective committees on the bill. We caught up with one of the foremost lawmakers, Senator Gashimbasi, representing the good people of Cross River South Senatorial District, who has been involved in pushing for the PIB from the 8th Assembly and now witnessing major landmark on the PIB at the 9th Assembly, where the PIB has been passed by both chambers. Take a listen to what he had to say about this landmark passing of the PIB by both chambers. The PIB has passed the Senate. It has also passed the House of Representatives. The next step is for the two, because there were some um, differences between the two bills that were passed, um, the next thing is for what we call conference. And there will be a conference between the Senate and the House of Reps to harmonize the bill. Once it is harmonized, it will be sent to the President, who will now sign it, uh, hopefully, into law. Mm, yeah. Uh, we don't know. The conference, I think, is going to be this week. And uh, once the, I, I do, I think there are maybe about three or four areas that they need to harmonize. Uh, prominent amongst them is the issue of the host communities, whether it's 3% or 5%. And um, once they harmonize those things, then it will be good to go. This decade has been declared the decade of gas. So mm. What do you have to say about I think it's good. Um, clean energy is good. Uh, it's important that we... We, um, we uh, continue to do what we can to preserve our planet. So the movement towards clean energy makes a lot of sense. I think the energy, the energy is a more holistic way of looking at it. And even when you look at the IOCs and so on, their focus has now been more on energy. I was hearing that Total is no longer Total EMP, but Total Energy. And so a lot of the IOP, IOCs are even going towards the energy, um, the energy, looking at it holistically as a complete product. We are more, as I am told, more of a gas com uh, country than an oil country. So you're looking at the entire package, the, the kinds of changes that we're having. It's all about energy. And um, whatever, whatever source of energy you have uh, can drive an economy. So, so yeah, it's always good for the economy. OK, there will be more jobs uh -huh. for the ordinary Nigerian. More jobs through the gas uh, no, no. Any time anytime there are investment inflows into an economy, you create jobs. So if there are investments in the oil and gas sector, jobs will be created. So, and if you are creating new avenues of energy, uh, then jobs will also be created. So yes, there will be more jobs. Just, um, I think that the, 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 the PIB um, is, a, is a progressive bill and it makes a lot of sense. It's not perfect. And uh, I think that it will be fine-tuned as it is used. Uh, with regards to the conference, I'm, I'm hoping that at the end of the day, the host communities will be able to get 5% uh, as passed by the House of Representatives. Senator Gershambasi is a firm believer in also promoting the local content, that is the Nigerian content, in the oil and gas industry. Little wonder why he took out time to visit an indigenous company called Kalaya an energy service company at the exhibition stand of the NOG conference to know more about what they do and encourage them that they are a good competition even for the IOCs, that is the international oil companies. So that's what we are using as well to kind of to be the market capacity. So we have a technology, this I call it RS Clean. Definitely it's for valve. So what it does definitely is uh, instead of changing valve regularly, continuously. Mm. So we use that sealant to use it as a kind of solution to stop leakage, to maintain that valve. Mm. Valve that is due to maybe they say after two years they will change it. Mm. 
it's going to cost money, it's going to damn time and the rest of them. But with that technology, mm. that valve can stay in that system for over 20, 20, 30 years. Mm. This is just one of your products. This is one of the products. This quantum, which we also do, is a new technology for increased production. Mm -hmm. Instead of them bringing huge rig to site, yeah. they have a special tool. Mm. So it goes in, if your production is going down, mm. now increase the price. Once it goes down, mm. it clears the whole stuff, mm. come up mm. with the parameters, mm. and also to advise you when to go back to again. Not to probably after three months want to go back to the field. Yeah. No, it will tell you probably next one year you have to go back from the information we have gotten. So it's a new technology from Canada and our people are also being trained for that. Yeah. Then this stop noise is a fantastic one as well. Like when like these Saipan guys now if now they're going to build your plant. Because when you go to every plant, it's so nice, people have to pass start putting air off and the rest of them. But this amazing technology is an acoustic noise control. So at once, every place has been re, uh, controlled, most of the pump, the toba and the rest of them, the whole place will be as so silent as possible that you can't hear anything. So respect to HSC cost, it will reduce. Respect to health, which is most important thing, our eardrum, you won't hear anything. All the high decibels. All the high decibels are yeah. controlled. So that what we have been bringing on board to make sure things work as a local company. Yeah, we have a brochure. Yeah, they bring, they bring everything, sir. So, yes, I can. So, that what? Glory. Bring it. We put the brochure and the phone. Yes. So, that what we are doing. Again, we are now. Give my car glory, yeah? So, we are now working as well, which I have told the SCDMB. Because, uh, as technology, we believe the technology is the future and mm. everything. Mm. So we diversify as well to mm. see how we can start also. Mm. Start building, manufacturing our own form. Mm. Very important. It's one of the samples you see the market. So one of the beneficiaries of the local content law. Well, so you, have to thank us. you have to thank us in the National Pant Assembly. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I, yes. I really appreciate it. Very instructive. Yes, yes, sure, yes, sure. Yes. And the petroleum industry bill. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Yes, I, I really appreciate it because yes. with that, it's yes. going to really help us. Yes. We'll compete with China and the other exactly. people. Because exactly. I believe what Nigerians can do. Exactly. You understand? Exactly. So once this particular policy... I always on believe that the combination of the PIB mm, yeah. and the Energy Act yes. will revolutionize the, sure. the, sure. the way we do business in Nigeria yeah. and all like that. Right. Space. So um, uh, I think that um, it's for people like you to take thank full advantage thank, of, thank of you. We've done our bit. Thank so you. Yeah, you yeah, yes. Advantage yeah, sure. Of, of definitely, it, we have seen a platform to ride, yes. and I definitely, yes. I know this yes. car yes. is going to be the My brother, thank, thank, thank you so much. So the player actually is going to give the local content a soft landing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So we can start. And, with and the inflows. Dignitaries, delegates, IOCs, indigenous companies, lawmakers that participated at the NOG 20th anniversary edition in July 2021 were hosted to a dinner sponsored by the NNPC. Senator Gershom Bassi, who has been instrumental in legislations that will better the oil and gas industry, representing the National Assembly, was present. Congratulations to our GMD, congratulations to the board, congratulations to the entire management team of the NMPC. GGM wants some other people to come. What are those GGM is calling? If GGM is calling, you step forward. He was passionate about it, the NOG, that he attended the NOG, I think, until the very year or the year before he passed on to glory. Something he holds very clearly is the development of oil and gas industry. So when NOG confers on any individual organization the Dr. Alirio Para Lifetime Achievement Award, that person has done something quite commendable and worthy of celebration to earn such an honor. Consider it the NOG's highest honor to be bestowed on an individual or organization. And our winner for 2021, His Excellency Dr. Alirio Para's Lifetime Achievement Award is... The award goes to the former Group Managing Director of the NMPC, currently Secretary General of OPEC, His Excellency Muhammad Sanusi Bakindo.
celebrate our own who play a vital, still playing a very major role in cooperation between OPEC and OPEC plus countries. Dr. Odunaja, OPEC governor, and Hassan receives on his behalf. We would have played a video for of, of him receiving the award, but I'm told by um, the technical crew that they're having hitches with the video and we're not able to take the video. However, they're going to upload that video on the website um, later tonight or tomorrow. So you can go to the website and see his reaction to receiving this award from Vienna. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Dr. Alirio Parra. Congratulations to all the winners. Can you one more time let's celebrate? He asked Dr. Al.